What's going on, everyone? Jason here, and day 112, which is Horde Night. However, I am going to go ahead and split this into two parts, uh, mostly because Horde Night alone takes, you know, 45, 50 minutes. Uh, so I can't really cram all this shit into one video. But, I pretty much just want to do a recap of the last seven days. And obviously I did, you know, quote-unquote treasure hunting. All them damn shotgun shells, which is ridiculous. Um, I did go ahead and crush boulders. I got almost about 5,000 stack of uh, lead, coal, and nitrate out of that. I did get distracted, don't get me wrong. I chopped down a bunch of trees because I haven't been doing anything with wood, so I'm starting to run out of wood. So I did get distracted, so I didn't get as much as I normally could. Uh, actually, I can show that to you. So, you can see, 48, almost 6,000, my bad. Well, 4,500 on lead. You know, small iron, small stone. And then, yeah, that was, uh, because I stopped in targeted trees, tree stumps, uh, cleaning out the aisle, you know, area. I did go south, so I was down here, and there's still quite a bit of boulders down here. You know, I haven't even been in this whole section. So, yeah, there, there's a shitload of uh, small stone to be uh, crushed. So, I, it is my own fault. I could have done a lot more, but I also really wanted to build, so that's what I've been doing. Now, the Ostrich Hotel, I've actually modified quite a bit uh, let's do a quick little tour here of course uh, I thought about actually doing the bottom floor first uh, but the most time-consuming aspect of this is really breaking down the fucking walls and the floor and replacing it all uh, there is a serious underestimate underestimated uh mentality that I had you know when you're building it's one thing when you're converting a POI the size of Ostrich Hotel yeah uh, especially with the grand illusion of what I want to accomplish because I mean let's face it even even though I cookie cut it out the floor let it drop you know uh, that's still a lot of work and there's five floors one, two, three, four, yeah, five floors that I have to, you know, yeah. However, um, I digress. Take a sneak little peek here. Now, because I removed the uh, staircase, you know, it obviously gave all this extra room. Yeah, that one's not done. But typically, the fireplace sits on an angle. Obviously, you know. A little bit hard to accomplish on an angle here. Especially because I gotta keep that wall. But in order to keep the continuity of the fireplaces, because if I go up here, it's the same identical uh, apartment. So in order to keep uh, the fireplaces, they're pretty much. Pretty much every floor is going to look identical in a sense. The rooms might be a little bit different. Maybe the paintings might be a little bit different. You know, shit like that. Try to change it up here and there. But, uh... Yeah. And then, because it gave extra room, like this... This apartment, pretty much a... Uh, uh, childless version... Now you got your master bedroom, blah, blah, blah. But then if you come over here, this apartment doesn't have a fireplace. But what it does have is that extra room. Now, depending on how you want to do it, um, or not how you want to do it, how I'm thinking anyway, um... Because some, some Zari employees will have uh, kids and everything. So, turn that into a child's bedroom. 
or even uh, use it as a personal den, out know, desk, all that good stuff, bathroom, which obviously I'm still in the middle of. Then of course a master bedroom. I'm not sure about the carpet. I'm not a big fan of that. I guess. I guess that's not too too bad. I don't know. A lot of variables. And then there is four apartments on every floor. So like if you come in here. You know. I'm not sure if I want to keep it like that. I might do something a little bit more. But what I do have to have is this here. That way it covers up the uh, burning barrels that are underneath that. And again, same thing. I had that extra room, so here's a master bedroom. Over here, you know, I can slap a bed, turn that into a kid's bedroom, or put some desk, like a workstation. But there's, you know, again, there, there's a lot of decorating that's still going to be involved. Along with um, just plotting out and all the hard work of actually breaking down all the walls and floors. And, of course, you know, now I thought about actually making the uh, balcony like a universal thing between both, but I decided to just leave it as is. And you, know, you want a fireplace or do you want a balcony? That's pretty much, <laughs> that's almost what it seems like saying and then I went to basically um, as I said I went to building and what I built is that now if you remember I had the wood frames so it was pretty much already laid out I just had to replace everything but that is the not final version of the passing gas, but it is getting there. Now, obviously, I went with uh, red and white. Uh, mostly because even the passing gas, red and white. Oh, I thought I saw a lumberjack hanging over there. Anyway. Now, obviously, it's not done. I have a lot of work to do. I still got to figure out around here. And even though I did record building uh, this, I am pretty sporadic uh, when I try to build a little bit. You know, even though the foundation was already there, certain details, you know, the pondering back and forth. As you can see, I use uh, frames to line things out. I try to make things a lot of uh, very symmetrical. So... So, like, originally, you know, it, it came through here. And then I put the, you know, the ramps this way. And then kept on going that way. It wasn't until afterward that I extended this out to overlap this. The doors, I forgot you could actually put almost side by side, uh, like an L. And then it's like, well, have a little space. Now, obviously, windows can't fit on an angle, uh, so you'll have this weird little gap, but for what it is, uh, you know, it's console. You can't have perfection. Uh, they don't make windows designed to, you know, match up. So that's just one of those things where you got to get over it, which, you know, me personally, I did. Now, I'm not sure if I really want to keep this here. But then this opens up into here. Now, I kind of like this because, you know, spot for light to try to get someone in the center. Of course, I'm not 100% sold on how I'm going to do that. Come over here, and originally I had the opening there. 
So now I got this. I built this little side section back here. That way I can get to my forge. I actually replaced every... Every... Single hatch. That way they're all facing this way now. Just because I got kind of tired of always getting stuck on them coming up and I'm hoping that makes it a lot smoother but now I can actually install like a drop box or some bullshit but I even have a side door out here that way I can actually just drive up here and drop shit off now I don't know if I'll put the drop box out here or inside I'll probably put it inside and then I'm also I'm also uncertain if I want to keep that with the black, uh, the drop ceiling block. You know, I'm kind of, uh, undecided on that. You know, logic-wise, you know, it is part of the, the passing gas, and I guess it would make sense if that was red. But I ran out of... All right, let's put it this way. I took a 6,000 stack of iron. By the time I was done, I was less than 1,000 from making scrap frames and shit. So, yeah, it was pretty cost heavy to make it. But that's, you know, I'm undecided on that. Uh, come out here. And then, you know, little garages. I uh, obviously went for the uh, glass ceiling. Of course, I still have to put something on the sink. But it's kind of like a little garage slash uh, workshop type mentality. I could probably afford not to have the, the couches, but... You know, whatever. Got those six there. And then, obviously, I got to put a stair system somewhere in here. I'm not entirely sure. Probably maybe in maybe this corner or in the back. I'm not. Yeah, I might do it here. Make it fancy. So for the time being. Now originally I'm gonna say I thought about having this extended out this way, but because I wanted to have uh, a glass ceiling over every garage, that way maybe I get some natural light, you know, to help lighten them up. Uh, I decided to stop. And, of course, you know, this pillar doesn't mean shit for structural integrity. That's not doing anything. But I did like having it there just so I can add light to help spread out light around around it. But now, if it's in the way, I'll, I'll obviously get rid of the damn thing. Feels weird being in a building looking at the ostrich. Now, I got a lot of work to do on that. I, I'm i not 100% uh, certain how I'm going to build that. I know what I want it to look like, but I got to get a lot of the finer details in. And that's like my design for the for my farm. Uh, I will shamefully admit when I was at work, you know, a lot of free time, uh, I'd sit there and actually just draw the blueprint. And I fucking lost it. <laughs> I've been looking around everywhere and I can't find it, which kind of pisses me off. I know what the, it's supposed to look like, but I got to get the measurements and everything. So, <sighs> because again, it's a lot of it's uh, symmetrical when I build, so I want to make it even. So I got to make sure uh, I plot that out right. But it will be a multi layer uh, farm. So hopefully that'll actually turn out pretty cool. Not like I really need more shit to hoard, but you know. But the end goal of this... Uh, of this first, you know, I guess season or whatever you want to call it. Uh, of this series, you know, that that's the goal. To build all these buildings and establish dominance in the region.
So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And like I said, I originally wasn't going to have an overlap. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I could just say hell with it and make it, you know, completely flush, but I kind of like having that angle. And then out here, there's a lot of planning. I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. I still got plenty of room, uh, but there will be something here as well. Obviously, I can't guarantee that's going to stay, but... I've just left that there for shits and giggles. Same as actually the street light. You know, I don't really know. I don't think I don't think the game can handle if I used a shitload of uh, actual working lights. As it is, there's a lot of fucking lights down below. I actually thought about putting modern lights in it. You know, that's like the Ostrich Hotel. How much I would love to have electricity, um, just for the lights. Yeah, you know, but I already know this game would fucking, my PS5 would probably launch through the fucking roof if I tried to put lights and everything. Yeah, it'd just explode. So I'm not even going to bother. And then let's see, I'm trying to think. All right, it's going on uh, almost noon. Oh, yeah, and I forgot now it's been quite a few days. One of the airdrops actually did drop me uh, a barrel. It was like a 508 or something. I forgot what it was. Uh, I'm not sure even if I have that recorded. I might have to look and maybe search it if I did find it. Uh, I'm not going to make no promises here. But after combining it, you know, 552, so I'm getting there. Now, unfortunately, it's not nighttime. Otherwise, it's it's actually coming along. You can actually see the lights all the way to the top. And I knew it. Um, the amount of reinforced steel upgrade I'm going to need uh, kind of increased. So let's uh, head out here real quick. And my need... Let's see, uh, I don't even remember what side the damn thing is, but I was doing the floor, and, oh yeah, right here, look at that shit, this is where the uh, kitchen is, and I found that actually disturbing that there was no fucking window, knocked it out, and sure enough, and like I said, you know, every floor is identical above it. Yeah. That's like, I actually, I just realized I never put a one there. Oh, good God. I've got to find a way to fucking craft it. I don't know. Oh. Oh, hello, jackasses. Y'all have anything? Nothing. Of course you don't have nothing. Okay. Blue. Nippy ass sandwich. Oh, and I mentioned about the uh, military vest had just done on me. So I made my iron armor and I upgraded it to uh, 600. So there's the military vest. So if you are curious. Okay. So here's the military vest. You got a uh, 90. Concussive, uh, 95 puncture, 50 radiation, and 40 on fire. 
That's kind of sad. I only got 38 smithing. Um, and, of course, it takes military fiber to repair. Now, for the iron, it drops down only by five for uh, concussive. And don't forget, I you know, if you remember, I bought the damn armor heavy skill. So I maxed that out. Um, so 85, 80 for puncture, that drops by 10. Radiation actually increases. Look at that. Go figure. And then fire protection, 70% fire protection. So which one is actually, you know, more superior? You know, okay, that 5%. You know, could I walk on a landmine with 90 and 100 and survive? I doubt it. Um, I think they just, you know, overdid it on the game. But, so if you are kind of curious as far as your own self, yeah, that's there's the difference. And like I said, maybe if I'm playing PvP... You know, puncture should result with uh, bullet fire. You now, so that is superior. You know, how well does that translate in a PvP setting? I don't know. I've never got to. I've never got to play the game in a PvP style with anybody. So I can't, you know, confirm or deny it. That's just more shit that I found in the tree stumps and everything. Man, another 53 bullet tips. But yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up for this one. You know, 1230, Horde Knight's coming along really quick. I need to make sure I have my right ammo. Stock up. Idiot's halfway hungry and thirsty. And yeah. I think it would have looked kind of cool with it extending out some, but I feel like a lot of a lot of my builds ends up doing that, so I kind of want to break it. I don't want every build that I do to look almost identical. And uh, I will say, I mean, this is the first time I ever did this, a building like this. So, you know, I don't know your opinion, but... I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. You know, I, I like the way that looks. And it's not even done yet, so... Oh, is it going to snow? Fuck yeah, just... Right when I'm about to say goodbye. Now, picture it at night. Um, yeah, I think this has a... This should have a very, very uh, as visually aesthetic, uh, pleasing uh, atmosphere when it's all said and done. Because I have seen this uh, last night when it was pure dark, and yeah, it kind of pops. So, that's another reason why I wanted to see uh, nighttime. Now you can see how the lights are starting to pop through. Uh, I am hoping, like I said, uh, please, please be uh, patient with me, guys. Uh, as I've said before, you know, it is a lot of work. Um, now, day 110 is coming to a close. So, day 111, I am going to go ahead and just keep on working uh, on this. Uh, the horde base is fine. I'm not even concerned with it. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm almost up to just fucking run around on foot and not even use the damn base. Um, obviously not here though. Yeah. One last final look. Of course, I could add lights on the side or some shit to make it pop more, but I'm not going to overdo it. 
So yeah, that was just a quick little tour. Ah, the hunt for more uh, reinforced steel. Yeah, you can see Abla. I don't know if it'll translate, but I can see every four. So. So yeah, like I said, just a short little video. And let's get uh, ready for Horde Night, because... Eh, should be another fun time. So, if you liked, please smash the like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you want to keep, you know, watching my videos and whatnot, obviously hit that subscribe button. Uh, that way you get notifications and all that stuff. I think you got to hit the bell for that, though. Um, and other than that, Take it easy, everyone. The atom bomb is now just glowing embers with every dawn of feeling stronger still. But despite